Hi, I am David Prucci presenting Dolpy. Dolpy is a low-cost polarization camera based on the Raspberry Pi. Like intensity and color, polarization is another property of a light wave. Humans cannot sense polarization, but many animals like cuttlefish and insects have polarization sensitive vision that they use for navigation, finding water and detecting transparent prey. Dolpy gives us the ability to see polarization, and its images can be used to locate landmines, identify cancerous tissues, see underwater, detect invisible pollutants, and who knows, maybe even observe cloaked UFOs. The main objective of the Dolpy project is to develop a low-cost polarimetric camera useful for humanitarian demining. This is Dolpy. It is completely self-contained and easy to build. In spite of its simplicity, it holds truly awesome power for the development of brand new scientific and commercial applications. Dolpy's twin is Dolpy Mech, which is a filter wheel-based polarimetric camera. It is slower than the electro-optic version of Dolpy, but produces a stricter polarization analysis. At the heart of Dolpy is a liquid crystal panel harvested from a cheap welding mask filter. An auto calibration circuit finds the right liquid crystal drive amplitudes to analyze at 0, 45, and 90 degrees. Dolpy is built as a raspy hat. The camera sits behind the polarization analyzer while the drive and auto calibration circuits sit up front. The camera also has an onboard color touchscreen. On the other hand, Dolpy Mech has a mechanically rotated cardboard filter wheel that holds six polarizer filters. The filter wheel is rotated by a standard size 180 degree servo driven by a native fruit servo PWM hat connected to our recipe 2. Dolpy's Python imaging loop takes the polarized images and then combines them into a single color picture that encodes polarization. For example, these nine pieces of polarizer film all look the same to a human eye, but they look very different through Dolpy. The polarization angle, degree of polarization, and polarization intensity are encoded in HSV space, making the picture easy to interpret. Dolpy software can also calculate and display all Stokes and polarimetric parameter images. One of the electro-optic Dolpy's shortcomings is that it cannot differentiate 45-degree linearly polarized light from that with circular polarization. Dolpy Mech, on the other hand, can tell the two apart. However, as shown here, circularly polarized light is rare in nature, so this drawback is not important for the vast majority of applications. Dolpy's major current drawback is its lack of speed. High frame rate is necessary for autonomous vehicle navigation applications. Currently, Dolpy speed is limited to around 4 frames per second. This is not a problem in most medical, environmental, and humanitarian demining applications. Dolpy can be productized as a low-cost Raspberry Pi hat, followed by an onboard lithium-ion rechargeable battery. The recharge, LC panel driver, and auto calibration circuitry would be surface-mounted directly onto the hat. It is also easy to productize Dolpy Mech. In fact, it could be made into a null-mode imager that would not only analyze polarization, but also operate as a multispectral imager covering the infrared, visible, and ultraviolet bands. Without doubt, the most important application for Dolpy is humanitarian demining. Landmines and unexploded ordnance pose a threat in nearly 80 countries around the world. Polarimetric images show landmines very clearly, and Dolpy's low cost makes it an ideal tool for use to rid the world of landmines and unexploded ordnance. Eliminating landmine casualties will give hope to those who have endured the cruelty of war and promise peace and prosperity. It is my hope that Dolpy will open the obscure field of polarization imaging so that fellow enthusiasts will be able to develop game-changing applications across a wide range of fields, spanning all the way from environmental monitoring and medical diagnostics to security and anti-terrorism applications. For a complete paper on this project, please visit DIYphysics.com. Thank you.